The Germany national football team German, Deutsche Fußballnationalmannschaft or Die Mannschaft is the men's football team that has represented Germany in international competition since 1908. It is governed by the German Football Association Deutscher Fußball Bund, founded in 1900. Ever since the DFB was reinaugurated in 1949 the team has represented the Federal Republic of Germany. Under Allied occupation and division, two other separate national teams were also recognized by FIFA, the Saarland team representing the Saarland 1950 and the East German team representing the German Democratic Republic 1952 Both have been absorbed along with their records by the current national team. The official name and code, Germany FR FRG, was shortened to Germany GER. Following the reunification in 1990, Germany is one of the most successful national teams in international competitions, having won four World Cups 1954, 1974, 1990, 2014, three European Championships 1972, 1980, 1996, and one Confederations Cup 2017. They have also been runners-up three times in the European Championships, four times in the World Cup, and a further four third place finishes at World Cups. East Germany won Olympic gold in 1976. Germany is the only nation to have won both the FIFA World Cup and the FIFA Women's World Cup. After winning the 2017 Confederations Cup, it became one of the only four nations, alongside Brazil, Argentina and France, to win all three most important men's titles recognized by FIFA, the World Cup, the Confederations Cup, and the Olympic Tournament. They have also won their respective Continental Championship Copa America for Argentina and Brazil, and UEFA European Championship for France and Germany. At the end of the 2014 World Cup, Germany earned the highest ELO rating of any national football team in history, with a record 2,205 points. Germany is also the only European nation that has won a FIFA World Cup in the Americas. The manager of the national team is Joachim Lowe. History Early years Between 1899 and 1901, prior to the formation of a national team, there were five unofficial international matches between German and English selection teams, which all ended as large defeats for the German teams. Eight years after the establishment of the German Football Association DFB, the first official match of the Germany national football team was played on 5 April 1908, against Switzerland in Basel, with the Swiss winning 5-3. Gottfried Fuchs scored a world record 10 goals for Germany in a 16-0 win against Russia at the 1912 Olympics in Stockholm on 1 July, becoming the top scorer of the tournament. His international record was not surpassed until 2001 when Australia's Archie Thompson scored 13 goals in a 31-0 defeat of American Samoa. He was Jewish, and the German Football Association erased all references to him from their records between 1933 and 1945. As of 2016, he was still the top German scorer for one match, the first match after World War I in 1920, the first match after World War II in 1950 when Germany was still banned from most international competitions, and the first match in 1990 with former East German players were all against Switzerland as well. Germany's first championship title was even won in Switzerland in 1954. At that time the players were selected by the DFB, as there was no dedicated coach. The first manager of the Germany national team was Otto Nurs, a school teacher from Mannheim, who served in the role from 1926 to 1936. The German FA could not afford travel to Uruguay for the first World Cup staged in 1930 during the Great Depression, but finished third in the 1934 World Cup in their first appearance in the competition. After a poor showing at the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin, Sepp Herberger became coach. In 1937 he put together a squad which was soon nicknamed the Breslau Elf the Breslau 11 in recognition of their 8-0 win over Denmark in the then German city of Breslau, Lower Silesia now Wrocław, Poland. After Austria became part of Germany in the Anschluss of March 1938, that country's national team, one of Europe's best sides at the time due to professionalism, was disbanded despite having already qualified for the 1938 World Cup. 
Nazi politicians ordered five or six ex-Austrian players, from the clubs Rapid Vienna, Austria Vienna, and First Vienna FC, to join the all-German team on short notice in a staged show of unity for political reasons. In the 1938 World Cup that began on 4 June, this «united» German team managed only a 1–1 draw against Switzerland and then lost the replay 2–4 in front of a hostile crowd in Paris, France. That early exit stands as Germany's worst World Cup result, and one of just two occasions the team failed to progress the group stage the next would not occur until the 2018 tournament. During World War II, the team played over 30 international games between September 1939 and November 1942. National team games were then suspended, as most players had to join the armed forces. Many of the national team players were gathered together under coach Herberger as Rote Jaeger through the efforts of a sympathetic Air Force officer trying to protect the footballers from the most dangerous wartime service. Topic: 3 German national teams 1945 to 1990. After World War II, Germany was banned from competition in most sports until 1950. The DFB was not a full member of FIFA, and none of the three new German states—West Germany, East Germany, and Saarland—entered the 1950 World Cup qualifiers. The Federal Republic of Germany, which was referred to as West Germany, continued the DFB. With recognition by FIFA and UEFA, the DFB maintained and continued the record of the pre-war team. Switzerland was once again the first team that played West Germany in 1950. West Germany qualified for the 1954 World Cup. The Saarland, under French control between 1947 and 1956, did not join French organizations, and was barred from participating in pan-German ones. It sent their own team to the 1952 Summer Olympics and to the 1954 World Cup qualifiers. In 1957, Saarland acceded to the Federal Republic of Germany. In 1949, the Communist German Democratic Republic East Germany was founded. In 1952 the Deutscher Fußball Verband der DDR DFV was established and the East Germany national football team took to the field. They were the only team to beat the 1974 FIFA World Cup winning West Germans in the only meeting of the two sides of the divided nation. East Germany won the gold medal at the 1976 Olympics. After German reunification in 1990, the Eastern football competition was reintegrated into the DFB. Topic: 1954 World Cup victory. West Germany, captained by Fritz Walter, met in the 1954 World Cup against Turkey, Yugoslavia and Austria. When playing favourites Hungary in the group stage, Germany lost 3-8. West Germany met the Hungarian, Mighty Magyars, again in the final. Hungary had gone unbeaten for 32 consecutive matches. In an upset, West Germany won 3-2, with Helmut Rand scoring the winning goal. The success is called, the Miracle of Bern, Das Wunder von Bern. Memorable losses, Wembley goal and game of the century 1958-1970 After finishing fourth in the 1958 World Cup and reaching only the quarter-finals in the 1962 World Cup, the DFB made changes. Professionalism was introduced, and the best clubs from the various regional ligas were assembled into the new Bundesliga. In 1964, Helmut Schaan took over as coach, replacing Herberger who had been in office for 28 years. In the 1966 World Cup, West Germany reached the final after beating the USSR in the semi-final, facing hosts England. In extra time, the first goal by Jeff Hurst was one of the most contentious goals in the history of the World Cup. The linesman signaled the ball had crossed the line for a goal, after bouncing down from the crossbar, when replays showed it did not appear to have fully crossed the line. Hurst then scored another goal giving England a 4-2 win. West Germany in the 1970 World Cup knocked England out in the quarter-finals 3-2, before they suffered a 4-3 extra time loss in the semi-final against Italy. This match with five goals in extra time is one of the most dramatic in World Cup history, and is called the Game of the Century in both Italy and Germany. 
West Germany claimed third by beating Uruguay 1–0. Gerd Müller finished as the tournament's top scorer with 10 goals. Topic: 1974 World Cup title on home soil. In 1971, Franz Beckenbauer became captain of the national team, and he led West Germany to victory at the European Championship at Euro 1972, defeating the Soviet Union 3 0 in the final. As hosts of the 1974 World Cup, they won their second World Cup, defeating the Netherlands 2 1 in the final in Munich. Two matches in the 1974 World Cup stood out for West Germany. The first group stage saw a politically charged match as West Germany played a game against East Germany. The East Germans won 1-0. The West Germans advanced to the final against the Johan Cruyff-led Dutch team and their brand of total football. The Dutch took the lead from a penalty. However, West Germany tied the match on a penalty by Paul Breitner, and won it with Gerd Müller's fine finish soon after. Topic: Late 1970s and early 1980s. West Germany failed to defend their titles in the next two major international tournaments. They lost to Czechoslovakia in the final of Euro 1976 in a penalty shootout 5-3. Since that loss, Germany has not lost a penalty shootout in major international tournaments. In the 1978 World Cup, Germany was eliminated in the second group stage after losing 2-3 to Austria. Sean retired as coach afterward, and the post was taken over by his assistant, Jupp Der Waal. West Germany's first tournament under Der Waal was successful, as they earned their second European title at Euro 1980 after defeating Belgium 2-1 in the final. West Germany reached the final of the 1982 World Cup, though not without difficulties. They were upset 1–2 by Algeria in their first match, but advanced to the second round with a controversial 1–0 win over Austria. In the semi-final against France, they tied the match 3-3 and won the penalty shootout 5-4. In the final, they were defeated by Italy 1-3. During this period, West Germany's Gerd Müller racked up 14 goals in two World Cups, 1970 and 1974. His 10 goals in 1970 are the third most ever in a tournament. Müller's all-time World Cup record of 14 goals was broken by Ronaldo in 2006, which has been further broken by Miroslav Klose in 2014 with 16 goals. Topic: <laughs> Beckenbauer's coaching success, 1984 to 1990. After West Germany were eliminated in the first round of Euro 1984, Franz Beckenbauer returned to the national team to replace Der Waal as coach. At the 1986 World Cup in Mexico, West Germany finished as runners-up for the second consecutive tournament after beating France 2-0 in the semi-finals, but losing to the Diego Maradona-led Argentina in the final, 2-3. In Euro 1988, West Germany's hopes of winning the tournament on home soil were spoiled by the Netherlands, as the Dutch beat them 2-2-1 in the semi-finals. At the 1990 World Cup in Italy, West Germany won their third World Cup title, in its unprecedented third consecutive final appearance. Captained by Lothar Matthäus, they defeated Yugoslavia 4-1, UAE 5-1, the Netherlands 2-1, Czechoslovakia 1-0, and England 1-1, 4-3 on penalty kicks on the way to a final rematch against Argentina, played in the Italian capital of Rome. West Germany won 1-0, with the only goal being a penalty scored in the 85th minute by Andreas Brema. Beckenbauer, who won the World Cup as the national team's captain in 1974, thus became the first person to win the World Cup as both captain and coach. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Olympic football. Prior to 1984, Olympic football was an amateur event, meaning that only non-professional players could participate. Due to this, West Germany was never able to achieve the same degree of success at the Olympics as at the World Cup, with the first medal coming in the 1988 Olympics, when they won the bronze medal. It took Germany 28 years to participate at the Olympics again in 2016, this time reaching the final and winning a silver medal. West Germany also reached the second round in both 1972 and 1984. 
On the other hand, East Germany did far better, winning a gold, a silver and two bronze medals one representing the United Team of Germany. Topic: Berdi votes years 1990 to 1998. In February 1990, months after the fall of the Berlin Wall, the draw for the 1992 European Championship qualifying tournament saw East Germany and West Germany drawn together. After West Germany's 1990 World Cup win, assistant Berdi votes took over as the national team coach from the retiring Beckenbauer. The members of the East German Association Deutscher Fußball Verband acceded to the DFB in November, while the 1990-91 seasons would continue, with the restructuring of leagues scheduled for 1991-92. The first game with a unified German team was against Sweden on the 10th of October in Euro 1992. Germany reached the final but lost 0-2 to underdogs Denmark. In the 1994 World Cup, they were upset 1-2 in the quarter-finals by Bulgaria. Reunified Germany won its first major international title at Euro 1996, becoming European champions for the third time. They defeated hosts England in the semi-finals, and the Czech Republic 2-1 in the final on a golden goal in extra time. However, in the 1998 World Cup, Germany were eliminated in the quarter-finals in a 0-3 defeat to Croatia, all goals being scored after defender Christian Warns received a straight red card. Votes stepped down afterwards and was replaced by Eric Ribic. Topic. Oliver Kahn and Michael Ballack era 2000 to 2006 In Euro 2000 the team went out in the first round drawing with Romania then suffering a 1 to 0 defeat to England and were routed 3 to 0 by Portugal which fielded their backup players having already advanced Ribic resigned, and was replaced by Rudi Voller. Coming into the 2002 World Cup, expectations of the German team were low due to poor results in the qualifiers and not directly qualifying for the finals for the first time. The team advanced through group play, and in the knockout stages they produced three consecutive 1-0 wins against Paraguay, the United States, and co-hosts South Korea. Oliver Neuville scored two minutes from time against Paraguay and Michael Ballack scored both goals in the USA and South Korea games, although he picked up a second yellow card against South Korea for a tactical foul and was suspended for the subsequent match. This set up a final against Brazil, the first World Cup meeting between the two. Germany lost 0-2 thanks to two Ronaldo goals. Nevertheless, German captain and goalkeeper Oliver Kahn won the Golden Ball, the first time in the World Cup that a goalkeeper was named the best player of the tournament. Germany again exited in the first round of Euro 2004, drawing their first two matches and losing the third to the Czech Republic who had fielded a second-string team. Voller resigned afterwards, and Jurgen Klinsmann was appointed head coach. Klinsmann's main task was to lead the national team to a good showing at the 2006 World Cup in Germany. Klinsmann relieved goalkeeper Kahn of the captaincy and announced that Kahn and longtime backup Jens Lehmann would be competing for the position of starting goaltender, a decision that angered Kahn and Lehmann eventually won that contest. Expectations for the team were low, which was not helped by veteran defender Christian Warns being dropped after Warns criticized Klinsmann for designating him only as a backup player on the squad, a choice roundly panned in Germany. Italy routed Germany 4-1 in a March exhibition game, and Klinsmann bore the brunt of the criticism as the team was ranked only 22nd in the world entering the 2006 FIFA World Cup. As World Cup hosts, Germany won all three group stage matches to finish top of their group. The team defeated Sweden 2-0 in the round of 16. Germany faced Argentina in the quarterfinals. The match ended 1-1, and Germany won the penalty shootout 4-2. In the semi-final against Italy, the match was scoreless until near the end of extra time when Germany conceded two goals. In the third-place match, Germany defeated Portugal 3-2-1. Miroslav Klose was awarded the Golden Boot for his tournament leading five goals. Topic: <laughs> New Orientation under Low 2006 present. Germany's entry into the Euro 2008 qualifying round was marked by the promotion of Joachim Lowe to head coach, since Klinsmann resigned. 
At UEFA Euro 2008, Germany won two out of three matches in group play to advance to the knockout round. They defeated Portugal 3–2 in the quarterfinal and won their semi-final against Turkey. Germany lost the final against Spain 0–1, finishing as the runners-up. In the 2010 World Cup, Germany won the group and advanced to the knockout stage. In the round of 16, Germany defeated England 4–1. The game controversially had a valid goal by Frank Lampard disallowed. In the quarter-finals, Germany defeated Argentina 4–0, and Miroslav Klose tied German Gerd Müller's record of 14 World Cup goals. In the semi-final, Germany lost 1–0 to Spain. Germany defeated Uruguay 3–2 to take third place their second third place after 2006. German Thomas Müller won the Golden Boot and the Best Young Player Award. In Euro 2012, Germany was placed in Group B along with Portugal, Netherlands, and Denmark. Germany won all three group matches. Germany defeated Greece in the quarterfinal and set a record of 15 consecutive wins in all competitive matches. In the semi-finals, Germany lost to Italy, 1-2. <laughs> Germany finished first in their qualification group for the 2014 World Cup. The draw for the 2014 World Cup finals placed Germany in Group G, with Portugal, Ghana, and United States. They first faced Portugal in a match billed by some as the team of all the talents against the team of the talent Cristiano Ronaldo, routing the Portuguese 4-0 thanks to a hat-trick by Thomas Muller. In their match with Ghana, they led the game with Goetz's second half goal, but then conceded two consecutive goals, then at the 71st minute Kloza scored a goal to help Germany to draw 2-2 with Ghana. With that goal, Kloza also nudged home his 15th World Cup goal to join former Brazil striker Ronaldo at the pinnacle of World Cup final scorers. They then went on to defeat the United States team 1-0, securing them a spot in the round of 16 against Algeria. The round of 16 knockout match against Algeria remained goalless after regulation time, resulting in extra time. In the 92nd minute, André Schürrle scored a goal from a Thomas Müller pass. Mesut Özil scored Germany's second goal in the 120th minute. Algeria managed to score one goal in injury time and the match ended 2-1. Germany secured a place in the quarterfinal, where they would face France. In the quarterfinal match against France, Mats Hummels scored in the 13th minute. Germany won the game 1-0 to advance to a record fourth consecutive semi-finals. The semi-final win against Brazil was a major accomplishment. Germany scored four goals in just less than seven minutes and were 5-0 up against Brazil by the 30th minute with goals from Thomas Müller, Miroslav Klose, Sami Khedira and two from Toni Kroos. Close's goal in the 23rd minute, his 16th World Cup goal, gave him sole possession of the record for most goals scored during World Cup finals, dethroning former Brazilian national Ronaldo. In the second half of the game, substitute André Schürrle scored twice for Germany to lead 7-0, the highest score against Brazil in a single game. Germany did, however, concede a late goal to Brazil's Oscar. It was Brazil's worst ever World Cup defeat, whilst Germany broke multiple World Cup records with the win, including the record broken by Kloza, the first team to reach four consecutive World Cup semi-finals, the first team to score seven goals in a World Cup finals knockout phase game, the fastest five consecutive goals in World Cup history four of which in just 400 seconds, the first team to score five goals in the first half in a World Cup semi-final as well as being the topic of the most tweets ever on Twitter about a certain subject when the previous previous social media record was smashed after Germany scored their fourth goal. Also, Germany's seven goals took their total tally in World Cup history to 223, surpassing Brazil's 221 goals to first place overall. The World Cup final was held at the Maracana in Rio de Janeiro on 13 July, and billed as the world's best player Lionel Messi versus the world's best team Germany. Mario Goetz's 113th minute goal helped Germany beat Argentina 1-0, becoming the first ever European team to win a FIFA World Cup in the Americas and the second European team to win the title outside Europe. Topic: <laughs> Euro 2016 to 2017 Confederations Cup. 
After several players retired from the team following the 2014 World Cup win, including Philip Lahm, Per Mertesacker and Miroslav Kloza, the team had a disappointing start in the UEFA Euro 2016 qualifiers. They defeated Scotland 2-1 at home, then suffered a 2-0 loss at Poland the first in their history, a 1-1 draw against the Republic of Ireland, and a 4-0 win over Gibraltar. The year ended with an away 0-1 friendly win against Spain, the reigning European champions of 2008 and 2012. Troubles during qualifying for the 2016 European Championship continued, drawing at home, as well as losing away, to Ireland. The team also only narrowly defeated Scotland on two occasions, but handily won the return against Poland and both games against Gibraltar, who competed for the first time. Eventually, however, topping their group and qualifying for the tournament through a 2-1 victory against Georgia on the 11th of October 2015, having won the first match against them. On 13 November 2015, the team was playing a friendly match against France in Paris when a series of terrorist attacks took place in the city, some in the direct vicinity of the Stade de France, where the game was held. For security reasons, the team needed to spend the night inside the stadium, accompanied by the French squad who stayed behind in an act of camaraderie. Four days later, on 17 November 2015, the German team was scheduled to face the Netherlands at Hanover's HDI Arena, also in a friendly. After initial security reservations, the DFB decided to play the match on 15 November. However, after reports about a concrete threat to the stadium, the match was cancelled 90 minutes before kickoff. Germany began their preparations for Euro 2016 in March with friendlies against England and Italy. They gave up a 2-0 lead to England, and ended up losing 2-3. They bounced back in their match with Italy, however, winning by a score of 4-1. It was their first win against the Italians in 21 years. Germany began their campaign for a fourth European title with a 2-0 win against Ukraine on 12 June. Against Poland, Germany was held to a 0-0 draw but concluded Group C with a 1-0 win against Northern Ireland. In the round of 16, Germany faced Slovakia and earned a comfortable 3-0 win. Germany then faced off against rivals Italy in the quarter-finals. Mesut Ozil opened the scoring in the 65th minute for Germany, before Leonardo Benucci drew even after converting a penalty in the 78th minute. The score remained 1-1 after extra time and Germany beat Italy 6-5 in a penalty shootout. It was the first time Germany had overcome Italy in a major tournament. In the semi-finals Germany played the host nation France. Germany's hopes of securing a fourth European championship were put on hold however as France ended Germany's run by eliminating them by a score of 0-2. It was France's first competitive win against Germany in 58 years. On 2 July 2017, Germany won the 2017 FIFA Confederations Cup after a 1-0 win against Chile in the final at the Krestovsky Stadium in St. Petersburg. It was their first FIFA Confederations Cup title. Topic. Disappointment at the 2018 World Cup and UEFA Nations League Despite winning all their qualifying matches and the Confederations Cup the previous year, Germany started their 2018 World Cup campaign with a defeat to Mexico. This was their first loss in an opening match since the 1982 World Cup. Germany defeated Sweden 2-1 in their second game via an injury time winner from Tony Cruz, but was subsequently eliminated following a 2-0 loss to South Korea, their first exit in the first round since 1938 and first ever in group stage since the format had been introduced. Following the World Cup, Germany's struggles continued into the UEFA Nations League. After a 0-0 draw at home against France, they lost 3-0 against the Netherlands and 1-2 in the rematch against France three days later, the latter result being their fourth loss in six competitive matches. These results mean that Germany cannot advance to the 2019 UEFA Nations League finals and faced the prospect of possible relegation to League B in the next Nations League. After the Netherlands win against France, the relegation to League B was confirmed. Team image <laughs> Kits and crest The national team's home kit has always been a white shirt, black shorts, and white socks. 
The colors are derived from the 19th century flag of the North German state of Prussia. Since 1988, many of the home kit's designs incorporate details patterned after the modern German flag with the noted exception of the 2002 World Cup kit, which was a reversion to the pure black and white scheme. For the 2014 World Cup, the German team used white shorts rather than the traditional black due to FIFA's kit clashing rule for the tournament. The away shirt color has changed several times. Historically, green shirt with white shorts is the most often used alternative color combination, derived from the DFB colors, though it is often erroneously reported that the choice is in recognition of the fact that Ireland, whose home shirts are green, were the first nation to play Germany in a friendly game after World War II. However, the first team to play Germany after World War II, as stated above, was actually Switzerland. Other colors such as red, gray and black have also been used. A change from black to red came in 2005 on the request of Jürgen Klinsmann, but Germany played every game at the 2006 World Cup in its home white colors. In 2010, the away colors then changed back to a black shirt and white shorts, but at the tournament, the team dressed up in the black shorts from the home kit. The German team next resumed the use of a green shirt on its away kit, but then changed again to red and black striped shirts with white stripes and letters and black shorts. Adidas AG is the long-standing kit provider to the national team, a sponsorship that began in 1954 and is contracted to continue until at least 2022. In the 70s, Germany wore Arima Kits, a German brand, formerly a subsidiary of Adidas. Topic: <laughs> Home Stadium. Germany plays its home matches among various stadiums, in rotation, around the country. They have played home matches in 43 different cities so far, including venues that were German at the time of the match, such as Vienna, Austria, which staged three games between 1938 and 1942. National team matches have been held most often 46 times in the stadiums of Berlin, which was the venue of Germany's first home match in 1908 against England. Other common host cities include Hamburg 34 matches, Stuttgart 32, Hanover 28 and Dortmund. Another notable location is Munich, which has hosted numerous notable matches throughout the history of German football, including the 1974 FIFA World Cup final, which Germany won against the Netherlands. Topic media coverage Germany's qualifying and friendly matches are televised by privately owned RTL, Nations League by public broadcasters ARD and ZDF. World Cup and European Championships matches featuring the German national team are among the most watched events in the history of television in Germany. Topic. Results and fixtures Recent results and scheduled matches according to the DFB, UEFA and FIFA websites. Topic 2018. Topic 2019. Topic Competition records Germany has won the World Cup four times, behind only Brazil five titles. It has finished as runners-up four times. In terms of semi-final appearances, Germany leads with 13, two more than Brazil's 11, which had participated in two more tournaments. From 1954 to 2014, 16 tournament editions, Germany always reached at least the stage of the last eight teams, before being eliminated in the group stage in 2018. Germany has also qualified for every one of the 18 World Cups for which it has entered. It did not enter the inaugural competition in Uruguay of 1930 for economic reasons, and could not qualify for or compete in the post war 1950 World Cup as the DFB was reinstated as a FIFA member only two months after this tournament. Germany also has the distinction of having an ELO football rating of 2,196 following their victory in the 2014 World Cup, which was higher than any previous champion. Germany has also won the European Championship three times. Spain and France are the only other multiple time winners with three and two titles respectively, and finished as runners up three times as well. The Germans have qualified for every European Championship tournament except for the very first European Championship they entered in 1968. 
For that tournament, Germany was in the only group of three teams and thus only played four qualifying games. The deciding game was a scoreless draw in Albania which gave Yugoslavia the edge, having won in their neighbour country. The team finished out of top eight only in two occasions, the tournaments of 2000 and 2004. In the other ten editions Germany participated in they reached nine times at least the semi-finals, an unparalleled record in Europe. See also East Germany and Saarland for the results of these separate German teams, and Austria for the team that was merged into the German team from 1938 to 1945. <laughs> FIFA World Cup record 1930–1938 is Germany 1950–1990 is West Germany 1994 present as Germany champions runners up third place fourth place asterisk denotes draws including knockout matches decided on penalty kicks asterisk asterisk red border indicates tournament was held on home soil topic <laughs> FIFA Confederations Cup record Topic: UEFA European Championship record. 1960 to 1988 is West Germany. 1992 present as Germany. Asterisk denotes draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. Asterisk asterisk gold background color indicates that the tournament was won. Asterisk 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 red border color indicates tournament was held on home soil. Topic: UEFA Nations League. Asterisk denotes draws, including knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. Asterisk asterisk gold background color indicates that the tournament was won. Asterisk 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 red border color indicates tournament was held on home soil. Topic: Honors. Topic: FIFA ranking history. Source. Topic: Personnel. Topic: Current technical staff. Topic. Players Topic Current Squad The following players were selected for the friendly game against Russia and the Nations League game against the Netherlands on 15 and the 19th of November 2018 caps and goals correct as of the 19th of November 2018 after the match against the Netherlands Topic: Recent call-ups. The following players have also been called up to the Germany squad within the last 12 months and are still available for selection. Topic: Previous squads. Topic: Famous past players. Topic Captains Topic Player of the Year twenty ten Bastian Schweinsteiger twenty eleven Mesut Ozil twenty twelve Mesut Ozil twenty thirteen Mesut Ozil twenty fourteen Tony Cruz 2015, Mesut Ozil 2016, Mesut Ozil 2017, Joshua Kimmich Records <inaudible> 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 
Most capped players Below is a list of the ten players with the most caps for Germany, as of of March 2017. Bold denotes players still available for selection. Players who had played for the separate East German team in the scope of this list, strike 102, do not appear in this list. Topic: <laughs> Top goalscorers. Below is a list of the top 10 goalscorers for Germany as of the 27th of June 2018. Bold denotes players still available for selection. Former East Germany player Joachim Streich, who scored 55 goals, is not included in this Wikipedia list, though he is included in DFB records. See also Germany Olympic football team Germany national under-21 football team Germany national youth football team includes U15, U16, U17, U18, U19 and U20 squads. Germany women's national football team. East Germany national football team. Germany England. Germany Italy. Germany Netherlands. equals equals notes. <laughs>